Hey everyone, well this is my 1966 Corvette Stingray. It's September 2015. I've had this car probably since March. It was my dad's car originally. He bought it when he was 18 years old. Um, had it for a long time. I remember actually going to kindergarten in this car. Of course that was a while back. That was in uh, 88. That was the last year it was registered. So I guess over the years, you know, reliability issues have come up and kept it from being driven. Uh, the brakes probably being the biggest problem, which is why this uh, front end accident happened. Low speed accident, but a lot of damage to fiberglass. So this video I'm just going to document the car in its condition now and hopefully later on look at it and have a good laugh. Um, there's a lot of things I want to do to the car. Even when my dad bought it, it was an original. Uh, the previous owner put fuel injection in it, turbo 350 transmission, all kinds of different things have been done. Uh, even the hardware on the car isn't the right hardware in a lot of places. I think the dash has been apart, the doors have been apart, changed, just a lot of weird things all over. A lot of uh, interesting modifications that weren't really done well. Uh, bare wires, quite a few bare wires around the car. There's been a mysterious short, I think ever since my dad's had the car, actually drained the battery overnight. So, I'll get under the things I plan on doing, since it's not original or anything. Uh, I wouldn't want to make it a numbers matching car. I want to drive the car and enjoy it and not worry about it. So, I've got a budget on this car. I don't want to spend more than 20 grand. And I know that's going to be really hard to do. I actually want to keep it around 15,000. Which means I'm going to be doing a lot of the work myself, which is okay. I'm actually an aircraft mechanic. I've done that for 10 years. And I'm going to school also for electrical engineering. So I think with those backgrounds, I, I'm capable of doing all the work that I need to and that I want to do on this car. Except maybe the fiberglass. I'm going to have the fenders flared out a couple inches. I'm thinking about 18 by 10 wheels on there. I'm going to wrap all the uh, chrome trim in black chrome uh, vinyl wrap. And if I get sick of it, I'll just peel it off and go back to the chrome. Uh, I've got the engine and transmission ready to come out. Um, they're not original. I think the only thing that is original is the uh, valve covers and the heads underneath them. Other than that, I, yeah, it's who knows. So the whole car is going to be rewired. I'm going to put in a 5.3 liter Vortec engine uh, with some LS components on it, hoping I can get you know, 350 to 400 horsepower out of it. And then probably a world-class T5 transmission or possibly a TKO 500, I believe. Either way, it'll be a five-speed manual with a hydraulic clutch. Uh, the interior. Going to be quite a few changes done to the interior. Mostly as far as looks, not really uh, structurally. I'm going to do some custom door panels on there. Uh, new, new seats. These seats, uh, these old seats, it seems like you sit on them and not in them. I want some nice bucket seats you can sit in and, you know, feel like you're part of the car and not get thrown around. So um, I'm thinking about the Corbo A4 seats. Uh, I've heard some good things about them. I'm also going to do rack and pinion steering, uh, which means I'm not going to need this enormous steering wheel on here. I'm going to go do a, probably a 13 or 14 inch, I think that's the size, of one out of a 70s Corvette. Um, and one that will let me keep that original horn button, I've always liked that, I want to keep that look. Thinking about uh, Dakota Digital gauge cluster and clock. Uh, stereo, obviously, I'm going to build a custom center console that's going to cover that stereo up and give me room for a new stereo with a screen on it. Um, that will also give me the ability to have a backup camera on the car. I'm going to wrap some of the trim, interior trim, in 
uh, brushed black metal vinyl wrap. If it looks good, like I said, if I don't like it, I'll just peel it off or, or not do it. Um, the interior is going to stay black. It's going to be black leather and black micro suede. May do a new headliner. It's in good shape, but it's kind of sagging down a little bit. But I am going to insulate the entire car on the inside with the uh, sound and thermal barrier. I've got some there that's uh, actually from Home Depot, made for wrapping AC vents. It's called Frost King, but it works great for this. It's pretty much the same stuff as the, uh, the expensive stuff. I forget what they call it, Dynamat. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it as far as the mods I'm going to do. Probably a new rear end also. Um, everything's going to get rebuilt and looked over. I'm not taking the body off the frame because I just don't have the time or the space or the money. Now like I said, I don't want to spend a ton on this car. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't want to spend a lot on it because then I'd be afraid to drive it. And I'd worry about it wherever I took it, you know. I want to enjoy the car, I want to drive it. I want to drive it as much as I can. And I want to share it with my dad, and with my kids, and my wife. Of course, she probably won't get to drive it, but... <laughs> Anyways. I think that's it. If anybody has any uh, suggestions, let me know. and I'll be documenting some of the work, trying to make short videos along the way of... Uh, things that I'm doing. I've also got a few already. Put power windows and power locks on it. Uh, rebuilt the door mechanisms because it wouldn't open from the inside. A few things here and there. So I'll be making videos as I go along and uh, hopefully we'll see this car done one day. Thanks for watching. Bye.